Hello, everybody, and welcome to your weekly edition of Dudes with Brews on the Porch. You like this podcast? You listen to it? You're interested in beer, even though we don't really talk about it, but we drink it. Sometimes coffee, too. Well, you also like getting paid. And if you like getting paid, Podcoin is the thing that you should download on that mobile device and listen to your podcast that way. Why? Because they pay you to listen to podcasts such as this one, Dudes with Brews on a Porch. Just get the Podcoin app on iPhone or Android, free, easy to use. You can use it and claim gift cards or donate to charity. So amazing. Turns your podcast listening into charity. Or if you like to just get stuff on Amazon or gift or, or Starbucks gift cards, we got that covered too, son. And then all you have to do is uh, sign up, use our code dudes or no dudes dude brews dude brews dude brews you get 300 uh pod coins when you sign up and use dude brews it's as easy as that dude you got an android of course you do you got an iphone of course you do you got both who knows maybe you got an ipad an ipod an imac and uh whatever the heck android does um download it okay yeah craft brews and casual conversations <laughs> <laughs> We're drinking another coffee again, which we'll explain shortly. Coffee's brewed. Coffee's brewed. The filter has been put in place. This is dudes with brews on a porch. You're about to hear the greatest show of your life. We're drinking the coffee that we always usually drink on the show. We've had two different, well, we've, we've had three coffee episodes, two of them. So great value? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> um, we're, we're drinking some uh, Collectivo coffee from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. At least that's where it's uh, distributed and, and all that kind of stuff. It's a good place. We're drinking the Guatemala, uh, which is named for the, they have a lot of big words on here, uh, named for the long-tailed uh, Quetzal. This is a national bird of Guatemala, and also its currency namesake. This exceptional coffee is produced on the southwestern shores of Lago de Atilian. Um, I think you're, that's right. You say it with a question mark at the end? Yeah. It is there that, oh, God, uh, Tatsujil speaking, small-scale uh, Mayan farmers grow uh, tapica, bourbon, catara, and red and yellow uh Kakatai <laughs> Kovatars at an average of 1,600 meters above sea level. This full body and juicy acidity takes flight when rounded out by flavors of milk, chocolate, citrus, and tropical fruits. The, free, la, 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 the flavor profile, it's in between a light roll. It's more on the lighter side, a medium body, and uh, um, um, it's bright. Not a lot of acidity to it. I'm glad you're the reader. I think I really would have had trouble with that fa la 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 word. Yeah. He, this, <laughs> a little thing about Collectivo Coffee. For more than 25 years, we have been uh, 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 sourcing coffees from origins and roasting very, or in, in roasting every batch by hand by developing farmer and co-op partnerships. We can be involved in every step of creating a great coffee experience. Our session coffees are roasted in a way that reveals the unique flavors of of each origin while maintaining balance and sweetness. 25 years of Collectivo Coffee in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can find it at places all the way across Milwaukee. I don't know if they sell it in any other state, but if you happen to be in Wisconsin, mainly Milwaukee, you go there and drink it. It's a good place to go if you're in Milwaukee and you it's like coffee. It's in the coffee. Third Ward, the historic Third Ward, which is a really cool place. If you're in Milwaukee, you can make it down to the Third Ward. Definitely something you should experience. It's very cool, and there's a lot of breweries over there as well. Uh, Rob, we are drinking coffee yet again. I do have one beer that I want to talk about okay. real quick because I was down in Madison. Yeah, this is for, Dudes with Brews. For, oh, yeah, this is Dudes with Brews, and I'm Rob. Drew, yeah, I'm just saying, like, Okay. Talk about I, beer. I, it's I, dudes I, with brews. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We I really should you. talk about it more, don't you think? I haven't been paying attention to the Clearly. first part of this episode because <laughs> I've been reading up on, uh, on on some stuff that I will pay off later in the episode. Yes. Um, 
But uh, no, I went the to the full hour uh, experience. Yeah, uh, I went to uh, Built to Spill show in in Madison. Uh, hopefully, you all went. Uh, yeah, no, okay. Um, but uh, we went to this. We went to some bar down there. I don't even know. I can't even say the name of the bar. How do you like like the a coffee? sweet cup of Joe, just going down, flowing through your esophagus when you're a little bit drowsy, instantly perking you up like the sun on a Sunday morning after a long day. Of love making collective of coffee. <laughs> it's good. Um, I, I, coffee is weird for me. I mean, like, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we made it right. It's not. It's not strong. No, we didn't make it strong. Which is okay. But you only made six cups, right? Five. Five. Yeah. yeah. Then we made it. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, uh, it, it's very light. Um, it doesn't really have that coffee feel. It is smooth. Yeah, it's good. It's smooth. You put. Uh, that's my phone. Um, you put, you put milk into yours. I did. I put a little cream in mine. Okay. Okay. Anyways, um, it's good. Yeah. Perk so up. we went to some bar beforehand and I got this beer is, uh, maybe, you know, is there, is there a brew evil twin? Evil twin brewing? Yes. Yeah. That's okay. in Madison. I don't know if it's in Madison. I just, this it, is the beer. I, I don't had. think it's in Madison. No. But uh, you had but it in Madison. I, yeah, I had a, right, right. an evil twin, even more Jesus. Okay. Uh, it's a coffee beer. It's a stout. You liked it? Uh, I did not drink it. Very thick, very dark. You dumped it, huh? Uh, I made it halfway, and my stomach it really upset my stomach. Did you give it to somebody else so they could enjoy it? They tried it. They didn't like it. Oh, bummer, I huh? St- yeah, it was bad. It was. Uh, I, I felt bad. Oh. I paid a lot for it. Even if I pay for it and I don't like it, I'm finishing it. Uh, I moved. My man who finishes things, Rob. I got a painkiller instead. And, yeah, uh, that, that's a type of drink. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't finish that one either. Okay, it was not. Uh, I don't think it was the beer's fault that my stomach was uh, upset. Just by a it. pussy. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You're not. Sometimes it doesn't. But things. Sometimes things don't. Uh, you know, they don't. Uh, I really hadn't planned on drinking down there. Settle so. with your tum tum. Yeah, I wish I could have gone, man. Um, well, okay, here, I should say this because I, I, you know, I don't know if you, you can, we can cut this out. I'll, I'll give you the cut point, but uh, I, I took a hit of. <coughs> you got to, you, you can admit to doing that. Yeah, I took a hit of marijuana this week. Okay. Um, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't have. I regretted it. <laughs> Were you peer pressured? I was peer pressured. You're not cool until you hit this J, Rum. It, it was, hey, I got uh, that yeah. sticky Iggy, the devil's lettuce. I said no. A a few wacky times. tobacco, Robert. Come on, take a hit, son. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was basically like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I said no, and every time they changed their voice. Uh, and then finally, uh, come on, Rob. <laughs> Just one hit, man. Hit that shit. <laughs> Yo, Rob, you want a hit of this? <laughs> that was the one that did it. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so I think that that might have had more to do with the... Uh, but either way, uh, I tried that beer. Yeah. It's a stout. I like stouts, but honestly, uh, at night before a show, don't don't drink that beer. Stouts really aren't, in my opinion, beers that you want to... When you're going taking an adventure, when you're going on a night out, that's not something you want to drink. Uh, you, for me personally, and I, I think, you know, you want something more on the Pilsner side, maybe an IPA, maybe an, yeah. a blonde ale, something on the lighter side. So then you can, cause you're going to be crammed in a room full of people. You're going to be around, you know, you might be walking around a lot. The stouts are heavy and, and full. They fill you up. Yeah, I know. I needed to be filled up. Did you? Why didn't you eat? Did you eat beforehand? Probably should have. I did not. The weed didn't make you want the munchies? Um, sure I did, but... Well, you didn't fulfill that, that need? I, I, yeah, I just haven't been eating lately, so... Well, that's healthy. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so watching my weight. Right. Disappear. Because that's a problem you need, you have, is watching your weight. No, uh, uh, no, I just, uh, yeah, I haven't had an appetite lately. Okay. Um... But either way, I wasn't, you know, I know, uh, I don't, it's not a real critique of the beer. I just figured, hey, I, that was the reason that I got that beer was because of this podcast. I was yeah. like, you know what? We're at this crazy place. This looks like an interesting uh, I mean, choice. I drink, I drink some Surly, the stuff that we had on that one episode that we did. Um, I drank that. right? Uh, no, it was, no, was no, it no. 99 and a half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Um, I drank that this weekend. It was fun. It was enjoyable. I, I loved it. 
I'm going to Three Sheeps on Friday or today if you're listening to it when it, this is released. Um, I look forward to it. I'm going to be accompanied by someone very nice and a person who enjoys my company. I enjoy her company and uh, maybe we'll hold, hold hands. Sounds for fun. Yeah. We're just hanging out, you know. At a brewery. Hell yeah. Taking a brewery tour. A band's going to be playing. That sounds like a that's lot a of fun. That's a pretty good yeah. time to me. Yeah, that's, uh, that's. I mean, that that was uh, going to see that band on, on in, in, which you went and saw a concert the night. No, that was last week. Mm-hmm. My bad. Never the week mind. before. But There's so, a lot of good concerts coming up, Rob, that I really want to go to, but money. Yeah, this was a free show. That I'm was seeing. one of the big things about it. That was cool. It was supposed to be outside, but it was, yeah. ended up being in the uh, Majestic. Great place. My favorite spot in Madison. The Great Dane and the Majestic, and they're right by each other. It's awesome. Yeah. I, yep. got, uh, I got the second, the 20th anniversary poster. There's only 50 of each of these posters, and I have one of each of them for Built to Spill. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm pretty psyched on that. Yeah, that's cool. Pretty uh, sure they didn't sell out. Built to Spill is not a huge band, but they're my favorite. Check them out. That's all you need. Check them out. Enjoy it. Um, you're off of work this week. I got a short week, work week this week. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going on first shift next week, dude. I know. It's going to change things. Things, things are going to be different. Drew's going to be awake a little bit more. Yeah. Hopefully. I think so. That'll be a good thing. I can be a normal person again in some regards. Is anyone yeah. really normal, Rob? Probably not. No. In the grand scheme of things. Uh, normalcy is uh, defined by society as is, as is yeah. uh, what I, where I should be at the age of 28. I think I'm the most normal person in Wisconsin, probably the United <laughs> States. <laughs> um, well, why are we drinking coffee, Rob? Why are we drinking coffee? Um, well, you know, the last week's episode was a little late. We drank some coffee. Um, it was late because um, me and Rob got hopped up on, you know, we hit that devil's lettuce. We hit that wacky tabacky. And um, I think we've got some problems. And we drank a lot of beer. Yep. And we tried to rob a bank. We uh, put went in there with masks on. Uh, we we Should brought we talking about this. We bought super soakers and we painted them black. We thought we would look pretty intense, but uh, turns out they they didn't fall for it right away. Nor did we make it out with the cash with the bags of cash. And uh, the police found us. They brought us into a holding cell where they uh, brutally interrogated us. They strapped us to chairs, beat us, zapped us with tasers, and all we said was, "Yeah, we we did that." Um, and then uh, we met with our POs, and they're like... Is it wrong that I like the tasers? <laughs> he, uh, uh, Rob had a really big erection the whole time, and it was uncomfortable. It made them um, uncomfortable. I was fine with it. <laughs> like I said, I'm the most normal person in Wisconsin. Um, and uh, then we met with our, with our lawyers, our parole officers, and they're like, uh, you guys are those guys from Dudes with Brews, right? The really super famous podcast uh, that is made locally, and we're just like, of course we are. Um, and they're just like, you know... Flattery. Um, for, flattery. For how great your podcast is, I'm surprised you're not making money off it. And we're like, well, you know, it's, it's getting slow in that regard. It's hard out there. We need some money, podcaster. yeah. Um, and they said, maybe ease up on the beer a little bit. And we're like, okay. And then they let us go. It was, it was really weird. Well, we really, we really, I guess we didn't do anything wrong. We just took super soakers into a bank. <laughs> And they, yeah, we never said give us the money. We just had super soakers in the bank. Um, they assumed we were going to rob it. Right. I mean, I mean, I, want, I just wanted to open up a checking account. But, uh, you know, uh, misunderstanding on, on everybody's part, I think. And, uh, yeah, so we're drinking. Yeah, they opened our eyes that, that maybe, uh, maybe we need to go a different route for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but the truth is, Rob, uh, I just have to go to the store and buy, yeah. more, buy more beer. So, um, yeah. That's, Still, that's, that's those tasers. Do. Those tasers, though. Those fucking tasers. Um, nothing really in the last week in my life has stuck out. No funny events. No, uh, you know, sometimes you just get into stu- stuck in a world of uh, uh, monotony. Yeah, that's true. I have, uh, I had one qualm uh, or one, 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 one issue. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, with Oreos. Huh? Yeah, I have an issue with Oreos, and I wonder if other people have this issue. All right, well, let's hear it. 
Have you, uh, do, you, uh, uh, do you drink Oreos with milk? Do I drink Oreos with milk? Like, like dip, milk and cookies? Yeah, do you for sure. dip your Oreos in milk? Yes. Have you ever noticed that some packages of Oreos or some Oreos in the package, they, they drink up that milk divinely, beautifully. Okay. You get a soggy, delicious, yeah. milk-filled Oreo. Like. Mm-hmm. But more often than not lately... Yeah, they don't. They don't. Uh, there's there's these random cookies like or well, it's actually random cookies that take the milk now, but uh, that that's that will not soak up the milk. And I want to know. I'm I'm asking Nabisco. They change the ingredients. Yeah, I'm asking Nabisco. What's up with your product? Yeah. Uh, milk's favorite cookie. Uh, why are they rejecting each other? <laughs> Is there a problem? What kind of milk, milk you drinking? Two uh, percent. Uh, Two percent. Yeah. All right. All right. It's a good. Uh, it really makes me mad. It does. I'm, not, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, I, I get upset when I bite into a milk-filled cookie and I get crunch. I don't want that crunch. You want the saw? Uh, I, want, I, want, uh, I want it to be fully. And I mean, I leave it in the milk <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I'm not half-assing this shit. Mm. Mm. I take my cookies and milk seriously. That's a treat. It doesn't happen all the time. I'm a fan of the golden Oreos. I like. I prefer the golden Oreos. I don't think I've ever had the, those the vanilla cookies. Instead but of I, the I've had cookies. the generic uh, vanilla ones. And, oh well, you need to you have the golden know, Oreos. You have to have a name uh, brand in this case. I um, mean, they're delicious. I love them very much. I'll try that next time. Maybe they hold the milk better. Could be. You got to get the double stuff. Have, have I you, get the double stuff? Have you experimented with non-double versus double? Uh, I I have, and okay. I've had the same issue with regular. Huh. All right, so Nabisco has some explaining to do. Yeah, this is something that's been on my mind for a year, for a couple of years now. It's been a happening. Couple years, yeah, because i i don't get <laughs> I don't get Oreos all the time. And now you have a platform. Yeah. And God damn it! You're gonna sing it from the rooftops. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. So it's something that I've been noticing for a long time because hmm. I, I only get Oreo. I get in these Oreo funks where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna yeah. go get a pack of Oreos. Yeah. And uh, always with milk, and and not always the the, the the consistency doesn't it's not it's not there, huh? Yeah, it's not. Uh, there's no baseline. I there's a um, the problem I have with cookies is Girl Scout cookies. You really have to watch who you buy it from because if they live in a different city, they're made by a different bakery. The ingredients are the same, but they're made differently. What? Yes, and uh, I have noticed a very like a downgrade when I buy. The, when the seller is from Oshkosh and I buy cookies from them, they're not as good as when I buy them from Fond du Lac. It's a fact. All right. uh, they, listeners, you need to understand the, the, the tenacity, uh, the, the magnitude of the information that you just dropped on us. This is huge to me. You didn't know this? I did not know this. They're they made by different bakeries depending on where you get them from. I'm going to have to find out where the my... The ingredients my... are the same, but the bakeries are different. So um, it makes a difference. They make, yeah, you know, some make it with love and some make it with spite. Yeah. And I'm, I'm under the impression that some make it for a profit. Uh, you know, yeah. they only make it to make that money. And I, right. I think that does flow, that's, that's flows wrong. through to the taste of the cookie. You know, the Keebler elves, they're there busting their ass day in, day out to provide you with delicious treats. And yeah, they've um, gone unscathed in this They episode. kiss every single thing. Once it's completed, they, they just give a little kiss. They tongue the cookie between right where the fudge is. You know, I wasn't going to say I wasn't going to give them the full details, Rob. I was just going to, you know, they, they, they send it with love. I thought that the, our listeners come here for the cookie news. If I, they come here for the, yeah, this is a uh, cookie crumble news here. Yeah. Cookie crumble corner. Yeah. It's a new segment. And we'll update you on what Keebler elves do to their cookies mm-hmm. every week. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Fourth of July is coming around the corner. We, uh, you're you're going out of state. Yep, you're able to squeeze to, this one in. Yep, I'm going to later today. I'm. Uh, is it UP, or, Upper Michigan, or Lower Michigan? Upper Michigan. Upper Michigan. Okay. I'm five hours away. It's a five hour drive. You think there's a drastic difference? I think the further north you get, you the the, 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 the weirder weirder you get. Um, more set in their ways. Yeah, I've never been. Say. I've never been to Lower Michigan, so I can't say. I've never what been to Lower like. Michigan either, um, but I will say it's weird that a state's divided in like that. Yeah, it is. There's a reason for it. It all comes down to waterfront property. Okay. 
and uh, trade routes and, and sure. uh, yeah, I mean, watch how the states are made. Uh, this is due to screws. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, no, it's great up there. I love it up there. It's, 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 Can you get it, some some beer there when you're when you're there? Maybe yeah, some. Absolutely. Don't get founders. That shit's everywhere here. All right. Yeah, I'm sick of them. I'm sick of seeing them, Rob, and I'm sick of people recommending them. We've done episodes of Founders. I want something new. Me too. I'm trying to fake the same. 2019 is the year I stand up for myself, and I'm saying I'm sick of it. <laughs> there might be echo on that one. <laughs> there was echo in the room, that's for sure. That's right. No, sick of a no, lot of no things, founders. Rob. I'm going to come back. Sick of a lot of things. We're sick of the cookies not absorbing the fucking milk. I'm sick of Foundry's Brewery from Michigan. I'm sick of motherfuckers playing pickleball across the street all the time and yelling at each other. Hey, whoa, whoa. Why don't you play nicely? Oh, Gladys. As long as it's not the pickleball you have a problem with. Because I, no, I really, I would, want, I would, I really I would, want to play pickleball. I would play pickleball. Let's play it, dude. I want to play let's, pickleball let's do so it. bad. It's like, it's like ping pong on a tennis court. I have court. another friend that wants to play pickleball. We had the conversation yesterday. He stopped over and he looks over and he goes, you know what those are? And I goes, yeah, those are pickleball courts. And he's like, bro, I got pickleball stuff. Let's play. I've got a pickleball that Jenny left at because Jenny got one paddle for some reason huh. and, and a pickleball and left the pickleball at my at my apartment. I got pickles. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We can do something with those too, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, Eat but, them. No, They're yeah, delicious. It's, it's, and I know people are saying tennis is, is ping pong on a tennis court. No, pickleball is. Look it up. Look it up. You get a paddle. You don't get a, 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 a racket. Yeah. 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 That's all tennis is. Yeah, um, I'm sick of, I'm sick of the rain. We've been getting a lot of it, a lot of storms. It's nice out. Oh, I like it though. I like the rain. Why, those, man? Those storm fronts that have been coming in oh, have been it, amazing. Does it make you sleep better? Does it soothe you? Does it comfort you with the rumble and the tumble? Does it remind you of better days? <laughs> no, I don't know. I've been having nightmares, so I can't say <laughs> that for sure. That's what. But, that's what. Uh, I don't, I didn't, know there was a, I didn't know there was a storm last night. Yeah, I didn't really. I was. I slept through it, but uh, yeah, there was. Oh, wait, no, I was awake. You were working. Fuck, I don't know, you man. You texted me at like midnight. I did? Yeah. That's how, when you, or whenever you asked me to do this episode. That's right. And I was like, I was in bed already. Oh. But I, I'm not shaming you for that. I wasn't asleep. I was I was waking up every, every hour I think, and I half. think it did rain while I was sleeping, though, too. This morning? <clears throat> oh, yesterday, yeah. last night. Like in the afternoon. My my windows were covered because uh, the humidity was too much for me. I turned on my air conditioner yesterday. Yeah, the the humidity has been rough. Um, I'm also sick of that. Sick of humidity because as a, a, a somewhat chubby dude who's who's hairy underneath, um, you know, I got a hairy. Let's get more into this. Hairy heart. You walk outside and I don't even have to do anything. I'm sweating my balls off. Well, that's what I did uh, to it's check. To see, yeah, when it got dark, I walked outside and I was like, I'm gonna go see if the air conditioner is even necessary. And as soon as I took a step out, I was yep. wet. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, and it's uncomfortable, Rob. Dudes with bruises sweating walk, on a porch. I walk outside. I walk around the corner, take my son to the park. I'm wearing shorts. But you know what? I'm still sweaty. It's gross. My butt's sweaty, so then I sit yeah, down. Yeah, I, I change my MeUndies some, twice a day now. Yeah, twice a day. You still get, but, but still. Their area is fucked. Don't but get still me the wrong, same amount of it. comfort. Yeah, the, the comfort doesn't go away, but it's just it's <clears> that bad. Here. I'm not a fan of things being damp. That's another thing I'm sick of, being damp. It's a weird. You Stop know, making me damp, moist. world. You don't like moist. The word moist is fine with me. It's just a word. <laughs> I wish the world felt that way about more words. Yeah, moist is fine. If you have a moist cake, that's a good thing. Like, what's what's wrong with the word moist? Moist toilet, always good to have. Yeah, wipe your fingers off after eating some some ribs. I'm sick of the stigma behind the word moist. I wish we could fart in public more often, and it wouldn't be shamed. You know what else I wish, Rob? Do you think you really get shamed from farting in public, or do you think you shame yourself? Because I think I people like shame you, especially if it stinks. I don't. Uh, how often do you accidentally fart in public? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that sounds like such a funny question to me. I don't know. <laughs> accidentally fart. Like, it's been a while. Do we ever accidentally fart in public, or oh, do yeah. we just? Oh is yeah. It, is it you accidentally get caught? I've had so. In <laughs> I've had. I've had both. I've had a. Uh, uh, I don't know. I've had experiences where like you, you just you just rip it and it just it just slips out. You're like whoopsies. <laughs> yeah, man. You sneeze and you fart at the same time. That's happened. That's happened. It's happened to me too. So um yeah, I wish I wish farts were a little more wildly accepted. You ever been we all blamed do it. for somebody else's. 
Probably. I remember that happened to me in the uh, second grade. My gra- second grade. And I know who farted. Who to was this it? Day. Who was it? Uh, her name was. I don't. Her was, first it was. I, I don't know her last name, so I can't. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say her last name. Just say her first name. I don't remember. You remember name. the last name? Yeah, though? I remember is uh, Van Van de Slunt. Huh. And it was a girl, and uh, and she blamed it on me. And, Did you uh, get in trouble? I, no. No. But the kids laughed at me. I got laughed at. It turned me into the person I am today, Drew. Did you call you Ripping Robbie? Thankfully, they did not come up with that nickname. They're not as cruel they're not, as you. They're not as uh, as creative in second grade as a twenty eight year old man. It might have been kindergarten. I just remember we were sitting on the uh, carpet. We weren't sitting in desks. We were sitting on okay. the carpet. I remember. I mean, like once you hit a certain age, I think just it's widely acceptable to fart in public and whenever you want. Like once you were at like what like eighty seventy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like once you get that seventy, you can just fart. I feel like once you're if you're in diapers, it's okay to fart in public. All right, if you're a kid, my uh, I don't know if we talked about this before, but my my one I, that goes for either end of the spectrum, old or young. <laughs> my one grandmother is as soon as uh, you're not shitting your pants in public and you're, there's no <laughs> undergarments to catch it. You're always, then uh, that's when it's not acceptable. My um um uh, my grandma is so. Happy about this segue. So anti-farting. Like, never have I ever met someone that's so, like, against farting. You would think it's, like, the worst thing you could possibly do. Did you ever tell her that uh, if you hold in, if, if when you hold your farts in for too long, they metastasize and come out your mouth? I once read, and I don't know if this is true. I don't know if metastasize is the right word. Don't quote me. I don't know that. if this is true, Rob, but I read once that if you tend to hold in your farts... Over a long, long period of time, you actually potentially may increase your chances of having a stroke. Fun fact, Rob, my grandma, who's anti-farting, had a stroke. Well, that seals those uh, statistics up. That's a fact. So that means it's it's true. I feel like... uh, I I don't know I'm trying to make light about my grandmother having a stroke. I love my grandmother very much, but I just think her views on farting are just a little misconstrued. A little little conservative. You know, like, why can't... It's beyond a little conservative. It's, It's... it's a part of life, man. You grew up in a different time, man. Yeah. You can change. You speak when you're spoken to and you fart when you're farted at. <laughs> Only when then. you're farted yeah, at. Yeah, and that's why no, they're rarely farted at. Therefore, they rarely get to fart. I feel like, you know, and I don't think that she's ever heard me fart. And I feel like if I ever accidentally... <laughs> I, if I accidentally... I don't think my grandma ever heard me fart. If I, if I, I feel like if I did fart in front of her... That there would be like a very severe look of disappointment. Um, I think she'd probably have to exit the room and maybe, you know, get some holy water. Not gonna lie, I've seen you fart and I had to exit the room. You've seen me fart? <laughs> it was just a joke. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a good joke, actually. Um, it's a smell joke. Well, now am I, am I at a point, Rob, where I'm, I'm gonna, uh, you know, I've accepted my situation. I've embraced my situation. I'm looking to move forward in my life. And um, there's, obviously, we've, we've talked about it, uh, hanging out with the person, I've been talking to a person. What's the fart policy there? That's what I'm trying to figure out, bro. Um, what, what do I do? We're going to be going to this brewery, so do I just like, uh, <laughs> I'm tipsy. Think of, think of I, I love you, man. It's been a while since I've watched that movie. Oh, it, where, where I just saw it. whenever I think of uh, farting uh, policy, I think of that where he's like showing the house and he's like, "That guy has to oh, fart." Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> the guy clearly lifts his leg. Yeah. Uh, play it that way. Linger. I mean, everybody farts. There used to, I used to work with a guy who blatantly like he did not like the person sitting next to me. He did not like the person in the cubicle next to me. So when he would round the corner, he would just cut it, cut it. Cut a fart. Yeah, I just, think we talked about this. Just keep actually. moving. Yeah. You, you never skip the bees. And full stride, just keep on going. So This is actually the second fart rant we've gone on on this show, which is, yeah. I'm surprised we it's got this unusual. Yeah, the it's usual. It's a natural part it's, of it. It's what we call it here on, the, on Dudes with Bruce, call it the usual <laughs> topic of conversation. <laughs> this, is a, this is an important aspect of life, Rob. Um, you know what else is an important thing of life? Drinking coffee, collectivo coffee. You ever wake up and the clouds... Are just so gray. Are you holding funds back from me? Are they paying you? Um, um, 
We'll get into that after the show. Uh, uh, you ever just wonder, you ever look at yourself in the mirror and you got a frown and you're wondering how you can turn that frown upside down and you think to yourself, I got a nice hot cup of joe waiting for me in the kitchen or maybe at my local uh, cafe as long as, as long as it's collectivo. I always wish your I day's going to yeah, go I, your I, way. Whenever I go, I want some coffee. I always go. I wish I was, uh, I wish I could go to Collectivo, but it's an hour away. Roasted in River West, uh, River West, Milwaukee. You can get in town. I, bought, that, that, I bought this in town at well, Annie's Fountain. Yeah, Campaign. but it's better at the place. I'm not plugging that place. Either. Like I, I just love that place. Yeah. It's fun. Um, it's delicious. Is that the, is, okay. So I've, I'm used to, that's Milwaukee, right? What? Collectiva? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I've said a million times. I don't listen. This is How are you supposed to have a casual conversation if you're not listening, Rob? Because... I'm sick of you not listening either, god damn it. I'm standing up for myself. 2019, the year I'd defend myself and defend my honor, god damn it. And you said to defend myself, you said to go off on you when, when I'm wronged by you, and you're wronging me because I've said Milwaukee 37 fucking times in the last uh, fucking 30 minutes. I don't think you have... And you don't listen, Rob. And I don't think this is recorded, so you there's don't no listen. way to tell. I'm sorry, Drew. I'm a person, too. You're right. I have You're feelings right. and emotions, and I deserve some respect. It's all over. It's like 9 in the morning, and my neighbors are going to be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why is he wearing headphones and yelling? <laughs> And then I'm going to explain to him. I'm going to be like, Cheryl, I was telling him about Collectivo Coffee. And she'll be like, Collectivo Coffee, 25 years in River Rest, Milwaukee in the Third Ward, Historic Third World. They, they, third they, World? They, third, 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 third Ward. Third Ward. And uh, they, they gather up beans from across the world and throw it in a fucking bag after they roast it. How does he not listen about it? And I go, I don't know, Cher Bear. Can I the talk? fuck? Now? Can I speak on my own behalf? No! Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Defend yourself. <laughs> uh, the only reason I ask that again is because I usually go to Madison, and when we go to Madison, there's other coffee roasters down there, and I was like thinking of a place where you can watch them roast it and everything as you sit there and drink it. Is that how Collectivo is? In Milwaukee, I have no idea. Okay. I've seen it. I've never been in there. Is there a little storefront mm-hmm. that you can drink coffee? Mm-hmm. Yeah, then, okay. I'm just, I, I'm more apt to, to Madison coffee places because that's no, where that's I fine. end up going. Uh, but I do, uh, I, when it comes to, I know that we go, we've we gone there in Milwaukee because Trevor was going to school in Milwaukee. Yeah. Ryan went in Madison, and uh, I just always remember that place that you could watch them do all the stuff to the coffee. Okay. And I'm sorry it set you off, and I'm sorry I didn't listen. Yeah. And I'll try harder. You should. And I do. I, I sincerely feel bad. This is a three pronged apology. I know what I did wrong. I'm going to try and change <laughs> it. And I do feel sorry about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Um, well, well then. What were you saying? Uh, so, what I was looking up for, <laughs> uh, what I was looking up before at the beginning <laughs> is uh, in 2017, I have the 2017 numbers for uh, firework. Uh, 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 I- instances. It's Fourth of July remember, coming up. I don't did you know that? If I've done this before. Independence of our of our country. Well, did you do it in 2017? They wouldn't have had the data. Girl in Wisconsin. <laughs> a girl in Wisconsin died in in in, in 2017. Uh, she was one of four. I deaths. think I think me and Josh talked about um, stuff. Fireworks like, just did. Too. Yeah, Dude, you can I, I just, feel free. Feel free well, to update I, us. Honestly, I just looked up this stuff and uh, like. Eight people lost their lives in firework mishaps in 2017. Another 12,900 wow. ended up in the hospital. In wow. Uh, uh, so, and uh, the, like it says, in 2017, deaths included a four-year-old Wisconsin girl who died oh. from shrapnel. Gee, what? Yep. Uh, a Florida man who was oh, killed uh, when his home caught fire. His home caught fire, okay. His sister tried to solve a rodent problem by throwing a lit firecracker <laughs> at a rodent. Florida, I shouldn't laugh at that. Florida. Florida does some, there's yeah. a lot of weird people in Florida. People say that it's because they, they air the, all of their like um, police calls yeah. are all public record. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, so you get to see every little... But I think that there's just something going on in Florida. Yeah, something in the water. Gators. Gators. They live next to man-eating If you beasts. drink, if you drink water that an alligator was just in, is it Gatorade? 
<laughs> I think that's I think that's what Gatorade is. <laughs> How do they get the different colors? It's just lake water. Uh, 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 it depends on orange how, alligators, blue alligators. I think it depends on when the, the the how 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 dirty the gator is. Sure. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Home alone uh, in July, an 11 year old boy was home alone in Kansas. So Kansas, experimenting with fireworks. Yeah. And uh, when a device blew up in a piece of metal, wow, they really got. I don't even <clears throat> want to talk about this one. He died. I'm sorry. He died. They went into too much detail on that one, and I don't I feel once, right talking about I it. I once was holding a uh, bottle rocket in my hand, held it too close, close to my shirt, and it started on fire. Wow. When it went off. But if that wasn't a good explosion, I mean, fuck, I don't know what was. Bottle rockets, yeah. Yeah, bottle rockets are fun. It's not fun. Meant for bottles, not your hands. I definitely never lit one out of my no? hands. Oh, no? Oh, I've done it a million times. I've messed with firecrackers, which you really, you know, I'm surprised at how fast they detonate. You think the wick would be a little slower? Yeah, yeah, you would. I'm pretty sure they could, like, do that, right? I think you can have a firecracker if you have your hand open. Nah, it's no, not, I'm, I'm, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No. But if you close your hand. No. Where did I hear that, then? I, no, that's not accurate. Okay. There's no way. It's, it's, an, it's, 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 it's. You want to test it? Yeah, can we get a, something else? You can. I don't want to use my hand. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to use my hand either. I could use my right hand. All right. Well, yeah. let's try it. Okay. Do you got one? No. Okay. Well, we'll get one. We'll get one, guys. This Actually, is, I might. Let's do it. <laughs> They're really old. I heard. <laughs> I heard somewhere that it would be okay. So let's do it. Yeah. No, I, I don't suggest that in in the slightest. Um, fireworks. You see one, you see them all. In my opinion. Nope. <clears throat> no. Okay. There's a reason I go to Munising, Michigan for yeah. fireworks. And uh they they fundraise all year for their fireworks and they are amazing. And on and once when I was a kid I went to a fireworks demonstration. Does, does like a little does a little ball shoot up into the air with a little tail and all of a sudden it just kinda spreads and pops? At right. some point. And then it happens over and over again. More than that happens. Various covered colors. No, they have big streamers, and they've got things that make shapes, and they've got things that make words, and they've got things that... Oh, wow. What do the words say? Um, happy 4th. No. Stuff like that. May the 4th be with you. Oh, it's July. Yeah. Yeah. That's a joke. I know. Didn't land. Clearly. With me. Yeah. I don't get why you said... landed oh, with the July. listeners. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's July. I don't... Why? What? Huh? May the May the fourth. Be you hear that here. cackling right now, Rob, in the world? Oh, because that's to everyone May- laughing I at my it. joke. <laughs> it's because May fourth is the May the fourth be with you kind yeah. of joke. Yeah, right. Ah, right. See, I'm just stupid. People have to understand. Yeah, that. You said it. Yep. Mike. <laughs> Mike got into a situation at that show where somebody cut in front of him in line, and he uh, he said something to the guy. Yeah. And the, like Mike had been in the show, and he left the show for whatever reason. And uh, he had to get back in line to get back to go back in. Mm-hmm. And the people behind him were talking about something. And uh, he was like, "Oh, th- this is the deal. I was just I was in there before, so I can tell you the, the answer to this." So they started talking, and one guy weaseled his way in front of him. And then uh, his buddy, they were talking back and forth across Mike, and Mike wasn't really talking to him anymore. And then that guy started trying to weasel up next to him. Yeah. And Mike was like, "Hey, I don't mean to be. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but." Uh, before we started talking before, you guys were behind me, and now you're in front of me. And the guy tried to, like, in the, uh, say whatever, like, oh, well, the line's wide up there, so it doesn't really matter. And he's like, well, it's one in, one out, so it kind of does matter. And, uh, you know, he's like, I know I'm the stupid guy for leaving the show and having to wait in line to get back in. And the guy was like, hey, I'm not, I don't care how stupid you think you are. And Mike was like, well... I, I as stupid as I am, I know I know how a fucking line works, and then the guy showed up. But yeah. uh, either way, that's what that made me think of. Okay, because Mike's my hero for confronting people that cut in front of him in line. Yeah, I have a hard time with that. I you get I cut could. in line a lot. It's happened. So the next time I see you in a line, I'm just gonna go in front of you, and you're not gonna do anything about it. No. Okay. Yeah, you, you got free cuts for yeah. life. Good. That's what I need. But, uh, yeah, no, it, it did matter because it was one in, one out at that show. So. I prefer the cold cuts. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Cold calls? Cold cuts? Sandwiches? Yeah, I know what cold cuts are. Yeah, all right. 
I feel like I gotta explain myself a lot today, Rob. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm not drinking. You're not listening. I have a problem with drinking, and 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 I only understand. I don't have a problem saying. drinking. I just, uh, you know, the PO said I should stop for a second. Yeah, they're watching pretty close. They're sitting outside the house right now. Do you see that kid that rode his bike down the street? He, he that's one He's of his. A wire. Uh, that's one of his. Uh, those they're they're patsy. That's the word, patsies. Doesn't look like there's anyone in that car, but I know that there is. Yes. Oh, that's your car. Shit. <laughs> That'd be something, huh? Somebody in my car. There was a. Uh, there's a. Oh God, she escaped. My my roommate thinks that somebody's stealing our gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, his his paranoia has More actually weird shit said <laughs> by you. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the reason that I thought about that is because uh, you have to go in my car to open my gas tank. Yeah, and so like, uh, oh, to, to release it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the paranoia is spread enough to where I lock my doors in my car now. <laughs> and there was a cigarette butt right outside my driver door that was a menthol, so I know it's not mine. People uh, smoke, Rob. You live in an apartment complex. I park way away from the doors. There's a chance that it just blew over. Somebody, no, somebody definitely wants in my car. I know it. Okay. And I'm going to prevent it. I uh, I went to McDonald's the other day, and I noticed that there was a certain fry cook that uh, had made my order specifically. Like I saw him make it. They put it on the thing, and they put it on my tray. And I got to say, I got it incredibly at a really fast pace. Yeah, it was really I would fast. probably say that that fry cook, that specific fry cook, fastest in all of Wisconsin, I'm going to I'm just going to go ahead and say fastest in all of Wisconsin Potentially the country. And I think he deserves an award. Yeah, he should get an award. It's amazing <laughs> that we have that here in, in, in this small town. Yeah. Uh, if you could get an award for anything, like outside of, you know, like and nothing athletic or anything, like just like a, a, a non-traditional award, what would it be for? What do you think? What award do you think you would deserve to get? Oh, that's a good question. <clears throat> I think you could get you could, you deserve the MeUndies trophy. Yeah, yeah, that could be because I like that. you're always walking around wearing the MeUndies hat. You're always uh, that's your the biggest conversation point that you ever have is you know that's a little depressing. But how true. does your asshole feel? Mine feels great because <laughs> I have this pair of MeUndies and, um, and they don't ride. Yeah, it's like it's like I'm sitting and shitting on a cloud. Well, I don't I don't shit with my MeUndies pulled up. But if you did, yeah, that's what it it'd be great. fine. Yeah. Um, okay. No, I like that trophy. What about you? Um, I'm, I'm, I feel like I, I deserve the biggest douche award. Bullshit. Go be serious. Um, I feel like, I feel like I deserve the award for being the most misunderstood person in the fucking world. I think people take me as probably the country. I think, <laughs> I think, <laughs> well, the world, <laughs> the country would be part of the world. <laughs> I think, uh, um, I think people misunderstand me. I think they they see me as something I'm not because they don't know me. Um, I feel like if people got to know me a little bit more, you would realize I'm just your average Drew. Yeah. Um, that's what I would get, the award for being average. I feel that way too, though. Sometimes. It'd be like the, the trophy would just be like a, a, a plump little guy on the top. It'd just be a blank plaque. <laughs> um, no, I don't know, man. Um, mostly, it's a hard question. Most sleep deprived. Um, that one might track. Yeah. Yeah. That one definitely might track, but not for long. Not for long, baby. I can't wait till you get some sleep. Is it wrong that I live my life worrying about your sleep? You really do. Um, I, I honestly do. You know, you're a good friend, Rob. You came over once just to make sure I fell asleep. Like that's a, that, not many people can say they've done that for their friends, and uh, you did that for me. It was very nice of you, very selfless of you, and uh, thank you, thank you for doing that. Well, you're welcome. I was uh, going through a tough time, and I still to this day, uh, we're going on week two of no anxiety attacks. I love it. That's amazing. Yeah, that's I don't good. need. I don't even need to take lorazepam with it. All natural, baby. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Huh. Okay. So I guess the 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 message is is uh clear. Fart and be safe with fireworks. Yeah. In uh, that order. I, I you know 
There was there's an there's an NFL player that blew his hands off. <laughs> Yeah, how he, do you do that? He's got two. How do you do that? He's got three fingers on one hand because he was fucking with firecrackers. It's not funny. Um, uh, no, it's not funny. But it no, is there, kinda, there's a guy. There's an NFL player that has one hand, but he was born with. Yeah. he was born like that. Uh, this other guy only has three fingers because he was fucking with fireworks and. Uh, Blue yeah. his hands. I feel like that guy with that was born with one hand would be like, "Don't talk about me in the same sentence as this fucking that stupid fucking guy." Man. He. Blew his own fingers off. It's like I think that that's like the first thing they tell you when you get into the NFL. Like you need to you need to protect the assets now. Like, yeah. Even uh, I mean the only thing I'm I guess, sure. That, I mean, technically, you only need a few fingers to catch a ball. I, I don't. I, was he a defensive player? He's a defensive player. Yeah. Well, he ain't probably getting interceptions. Like just, just know, know that. But uh, it would be really know. funny if like he blew his two fingers off his other hand because then it would literally be a pick six (laughs) (laughs) every time he wouldn't have to score a touchdown the pick six yeah he's got six fingers he's probably gonna have to like uh, that's the adversity that makes you better though it's like okay now everybody thinks i'll never get an interception so i gotta get an interception yeah uh but i would say just don't blow your fingers off in the first place ideally yeah that would Uh, like i'm sure there's a guitarist that ruined his career with fireworks it's had to it has to have happened uh, the drummer of Def Leppard, one one arm. Yeah, but that was a car accident. Yeah, still his fault. He actually probably. cut his other hand off to show how intense he is. Yeah, so and they're coming he, out with a new album. Now he just hit, does it with his feet. Yeah, it's all electronica. Yeah, they're coming out with a new album, Def Leppard. No, it's does anyone? <laughs> I was gonna say, does anyone want to? Actually, hear? they are. They did come out with a new album in 2018. Why? It made the radio. All they have to do is play "Pour Some Sugar on Me," Gross. and that's it. Yeah, I don't like, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of that Def song. Lever, I'm the, it's not a big fan old, of Def Leppard. Old 80 shit. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I have I had a friend there. I have a friend, I, I don't know, I had a friend that, that was really into 80s cock rock. Cock and he rock. and he showed me uh, what it's good for. And it's good for just uh, throwing away the care in life and being having fun. Yo, bro, that's, you ever, you ever listen to Motley Crue? Of course, girls, girls, girls. No, have you listened <laughs> Do you to Motley it? Crew? Do you hear the vocals that Vince Neil is giving you? Do you understand the rhythm and the beats of Tommy, uh, Tommy Lee, Nikki Six, and the other guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just talking about girls, right? And smoking in the boys' room and shouting at the devil. So, yeah, it's pretty one-dimensional. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, that, like, he, he, he did try and uh, school me in the ways of, of 80s really? metal. I, I feel is, like I couldn't take him seriously. I mean, there's 80s yeah, artists, yeah, yeah. you know, Pink Floyd. Yeah, there's good stuff. Yeah. Talking Heads. Talking Heads, right. The Ramones, The Clash, um, stuff like that. But, yeah, Molly Crew, I, I, I don't know. There's something they about, got good. They, you know, they got catchy songs. I they got know, fun yeah. songs you can put on the I, back. I, I, I did. I was a fan of Rat. Still am. I like Rat. I never listened to Rat. I grew up uh, on. You Rat, know, I, Rat did uh, round, round and round. Yep, yep. They've and, got some good bass lines. Most, I, uh, most of that cock rock is is just one note over and over and over again. I uh, I was pretty much raised on Prince, Journey, one song by Seal, and. Uh, Kids by a Rose? It's, it's some, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some country music. It's, uh, that was, for a good portion of my life, that's what we listened to. And, um, you know, when I was in elementary school, I was a big fan of the Backstreet Boys. I liked NSYNC, Britney Spears. And then uh, I, I had a Smash Mouth record. Um, middle school, I, I get, well, elementary school, I started listening to Blink-182. Middle school, that's all I listened to was Blink-182. I think everybody goes through a phase with Blink-182. They're still the one good. That, if they're our age, you know. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I was, I was 14 or 15 when I... 14 when I went to my first Warp Tour, and uh, my world changed. Yeah. And uh, here I am now. I think I was like 12 when I heard Built to Spill, and I, that, that opened me up. But otherwise, Third, right. Eye, Third Eye Blind's self-titled like album. Third that Eye changed Blind. my life. They're good. Third Eye Blind's good. When they had their guitarist. When they split, when the guitarist left the band, they kind of went downhill. But yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, no, uh, that's, I can't, I can't even pinpoint 
if it, what music, because my dad in Oshkosh, he uh, listens to nothing but 80s metal. Really? And he's in a band. Like Pantera? No, like... Uh, R.I.P. Like, Dimebag like, Daryl. Like hair metal, like Metallica oh. type stuff. You like Metallica? No, I don't. Not a fan. Okay. Um, but uh, my my parents that I grew up with in, in their household, my mom and my stepdad, uh-huh. uh, my stepdad is very into pro- like trying to be progressive and, and hearing bands and new bands and stuff like that. Right. Um, I'm still trapped back in the late 90s, early 2000s of independent music. Yeah. So like Neutral Milk, Built to Spill, Gomez, stuff like that. Yeah, which, you got, which, I mean. You know, but uh, that was all from my parents, except for Neutral Milk. They didn't, they didn't introduce me to that. But uh, <laughs> I went down, I did go down a Bright Eyes, Connor Oberst wormhole for a while, Neva De Nova, some good stuff. Yeah. I've been Moaning, listening to uh, a lot of the Menzingers. They're a really good band. Um, this is weird. I've been listening to a lot of Post Malone. I don't know what that is. He's a rapper. He's, I thought he was a basketball player. Post Malone? He's a rapper. He has a song called Carl, White Iverson. Carl Malone, the postman? Different guy. He doesn't deliver on Sundays? <laughs> no. No. Oh, okay. um, Utah Jazz. He was a big rival of uh, yeah. uh, Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Michael Come on, guys Jordan. out there. I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, um, Stockton? Sure. Sports? Balls? Nets? Baskets, goals, points, guards, defense. All right. Um, Words about sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you want you want some brew news? Yeah. Yep. Let's do brew news uh, segment. Brew uh, news. I like that. Um, Alter Brewing Company thrilled to announce the 2019 release of Day Sipper, a summer seasonal lager both on draft and six-pack cans, inspired by classic German-style Pilsner's crisp, clean, and very refreshing option for hot summer months. This is going to be in Illinois, so we have the possibility of maybe uh, getting it so I can see if uh, it will... Uh, we got to get that Lucky Charms beer. Yeah, dude. Uh, that, I forget where that is. in what, fucking West Georgia Virginia or something? Yeah, something West like Virginia, that. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Carolina, maybe? That's a beer to all, for all our Illinois people. You can check that out. That looks pretty cool. Um, other news, which sounds pretty interesting, Abita, um, which we've had Abita. Um, I don't remember what kind we had, but they now have their strawberry lager now available year round. Nice. So, uh, one, do they normally do fruit beers, or is that um, probably not? I mean, this this used to be a seasonal beer, so um, they listened to the pleas of the loyal patrons and partners across the country. Announced uh, the season. Did we? We didn't have the. We didn't have the strawberry one, did we? No, I don't what, think so. Don't, what did we have? We had, a ra- we had a raspberry one recently. From them? I don't know if it was from them. That's why I was asking. I don't remember, dude. Um, do they do the ABEV or whatever? A-B-A-E-V? Because that was an Uncle Update beer. It could be. I don't know. I know I had it. Oh, um, grapefruit. I think it was grapefruit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yes. I was on that episode. So, um... um the only beer brewed in Louisiana with Louisiana strawberries. So it's a lager made with Pilsner and wheat malts and Vanguard hops, resulting in a light gold lager with a subtle haze of strawberry flavor and aroma. So it's similar to wine with grape harvest. The team at Abita to work closely with its farmers to ensure enough berries are harvested to last throughout the whole motherfucking year. Uh, it's going to be available in bottles, 12 ounce and 19.2 ounce cans and a uh, quarter and half uh, barrels. Dang. It'll be in bars, restaurants, grocery stores, liquor stores, and convenience stores, among other locations across the country. So make sure you look for that. Give it a try. Let us know if you try it. If you enjoy it, you can hit us up on Twitter at dudes on a porch. You can also email us dudes on a porch at gmail.com. Let us know where you got it. And uh, if uh, you're interested in doing something along the lines of, we'll send you some beer if you send us some beer. Uh, if you live in a different state that isn't Wisconsin or maybe out of the kind of the Midwest area, um, I'd be interested in doing a beer exchange with you. So hit us up. Please uh, please email me at uh, dudesonaports at gmail.com because it's hard to get different beers without with, with paying a shit ton of money. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So um, if you can find this one, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. 
Um, this is Louisiana, I guess. Is that is that considered the Midwest or is that South? That's South. Yeah. I think that's deep South. What's what's uh, Midwest? What's con- where's the Midwest cut off? Um, Indiana. I don't even consider the southern states Midwest. I consider Midwest to be the the the, the North Dakota, North, like, like Dakotas over Mi- to Michigan. Michigan. And okay. I don't even know, yeah, like because then you get into East Coast. Um, mm. But then I, I for some reason the South is just considered the South to me. Yeah, it's all just one. Yeah, like uh, so may, the Midwest should still encompass Arkansas and like Alabama. Yeah. But yeah. I would never call them the Midwest. I would call them the South. Okay. So. So yeah, know. for real though, if you're if you're like into it, um, it, you know, you want to do a beer exchange, we could do you know like, if you can fit it, like ten beers, try to get you a variety. We'll stick to Wisconsin brews, and you can send us some, and well, you know, we'll pay for the shipping of ours. You got to pay for yours, <laughs> but, but uh, um, you know what I mean? Like how you, much, yeah, you well, pay to ship. You pay much. to ship. Yours to us, we'll pay to ship ours to yours. I feel that's fair. We'll give you some stickers too, Nakuzi. Look at that. Yeah. If that ain't a bargain, we can maybe I don't know on what that. is. What's that? So we can maybe negotiate on that if I have to kick in so that we get some beers from out of yeah. whatever. I'll That'd do be that, cool. obviously. Uh, so 105 plus billion craft or billion dollars in craft in the craft beer market, global. Uh, growth trends and forecasts so the craft beer market has been uh going up quite a bit rob uh did you know that no no i did not i assume it always oh also but i also live in a bubble which is wisconsin which is where it obviously is growing all the time although they're trying to stop that the demand for low alcoholic beverages has been rising as well with the growing interest from health conscious consumers Wider choice of uh, new products range from offered by uh, key players with improved taste and low alcohol content in the beer. Of uh, people are looking for a 2.8 ABV or less in the market. Just drink water then if you're going to do that. Oh, just so, just so we My know, uh, it, was, it was Jason Pierre Paul, New York Giant, who blew his hand off. No, oh, the Giant Wall. Yeah, I just. The Giants have bigger problems than that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> God, they suck. <laughs> Um, um, yeah. Leave fireworks to the fireworks professionals, Pierre Paul says. <laughs> Lame. I wish he did like a PSA around this time that was just yeah. aired global. Like, Hi, it's like, I'm Jordan uh, Pierre Paul. How about just use your common sense? Yeah. Don't hold on to fireworks while they burn. Maybe he heard about that open hand concept. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Could be. Could be. That Maybe that's what they there. mean. Maybe that's what they mean. It'll only blow two fingers off, whereas if you hold it tight, it, your whole hand is gone. I, I feel like I, I heard that in like a bank heist movie. <laughs> where they were trying to explain um, why why a little bit of explosive in the wall would blow the wall apart as opposed to putting a, an explosive next to the wall. Oh. Wow. It's like uh, closing your hand around a... Uh, huh. Something to think about. Something to look into, I guess. Um, yeah. But, uh, We're getting to that time, Rob. We drink Collectivo Coffee Guatemala. Um, Mine's been gone for a long time. I had two cups of it. It didn't have like a bowl. It Holy did. cow. One sec. One oh, second. Oh, oh, oh. We got to hold up for a second. Hold up. Three states. Three states. Three states. Yep. Illinois, Ohio, and Vermont only allow sparklers and other novelty items like snakes. Yeah, snakes and sparklers. Those are the That's only ones insane. I like. That's insane. That's crazy to me. I'm sorry. I had to throw that. Uh, Technically, it's illegal a lot to fire, do fireworks in, in here. You can't do anything that shoots in the air. You can do everything that, like, like fountains you can do, yeah. but you can't do stuff that shoots in the air. I don't even know if fountains are considered a novelty item. Maybe they are. I don't know. I don't know. Poppers. But we're not, because we're not on that list. Who's so like, we, like, obviously, we, you, can't, you can't just go buy big, big ass fireworks. Yeah. Uh, without there's fireworks stores. Do you think that's common throughout the country? We have like s- fireworks stores. Yeah, I think they pop up. All they everywhere. do is like we have a store that's permanently there. You can buy fireworks there all year round, and it's always buy one get one for ninety nine cents. I don't know. Yeah, that I don't know. I guess you can buy a fire at one point when I went in there a long time ago. You could buy a five hundred dollar roll 
of firecrackers. Five hundred dollars, Rob. Dang. How much? And how much? Um, how much do you think a firecracker costs? Pennies. 20, pennies. Pennies. Oh, okay. Um, to so that's make a lot to of make firecrackers. Well, to make, I'm saying. Like, oh, I'm saying how much do you think they sell for? Oh, I don't know, but it's very long, and then you could get another one for a dollar. Wow. So you get five, or you can get a thousand dollars worth of firecrackers. For five hundred. For five hundred and one dollar. Yeah, it's a good de- good deal. Good deal. Uh, the the because when I was a kid, I went to a uh, I did go to a fireworks showcase. So it's like um, the big fireworks companies come and they put on a display, sure. and, and the city representatives go mm. and they decide what fireworks to buy for their city firework fireworks Fourth uh, of July display. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was insanity. That was really cool. Yeah, worth checking out if you ever get a chance to go to one of those. Okay. Especially only, if you're if you're twelve or fifteen. Or the something. only showcase I want to go to, Rob, is the showcase showdown on the Price Is Right. Yeah. Was it by Drew Clay, Drew Carey? Spay and neuter your pets. Yeah. And maybe your people. Yeah, I would. I would, You know, I think we could get behind that. I'll lead the charge. My plan for 2019, Rob, was to get a vasectomy. Yeah. Yeah. Is that going to happen? Are you going to discuss it with anybody else in your life? Or is it too early for that? It's a conversation that's eventually going to have to happen, with, but not right now. Yeah, probably not a good third, third, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say, uh, third, third interaction. Do you want me to put a baby in you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking about getting a vasectomy, so no more condoms? <laughs> that's, that's not funny. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's a little funny. Yo, I got the batter, but I was thinking about bending the hose. What you think? <laughs> yeah, don't do any of that. She doesn't listen to the show, does she? No. Does she know think. about it? Yeah. She might listen then. That's fine. All right. I feel like she would laugh at what I just said. Good, good. I'm a funny guy, Rob. Did yeah. you know? I I'm did I'm a know. silly goose. Yeah. Anything, uh, anything offensive, just lay off on me. Say that's Rob's fault. I don't think you said anything offensive this time. <laughs> this time, yeah, I'm tra- I've been working on it. Have you? No, 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 not especially. You've been trying to broaden your horizon a little bit, just kind of maybe understand the other side of the coin. I do understand the other side of the coin. Do you? Yeah. And I'm acknowledging their side that you're not understanding. <laughs> I'm trying to broaden your horizons. I don't think you are. <laughs> Whatever. I understand what you're saying. Okay. I just uh, think I it's th- offensive. I don't, know, I, I don't think that I'm it's a square pants. I don't think square pants. Um, I don't think it's offensive. I just, I wouldn't say it. Well, uh, that's that's on on you. I would say it, and I did, and I do. I just, uh, you know, I just want everyone to be happy, everyone to be equal. Me too. All you need is love. How am I not saying? How am I saying? You're oh, okay. We're not going to get into this. <laughs> We're not going to get into this. <laughs> I'm not saying that's not what you want either. Okay, good. I just don't. We just take a different approach. Right. All right, we can settle there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, is that uh, what? What? What, uh, what? So I drank my coffee. I know we did this probably already. Mm-hmm. I interrupted with that lame sparkler. I got a, I got thing, a headache. But that really, a little... that, that really made me. Uh, made, uh, that blew my mind a little bit. I got a headache a little bit, Rob. Did it just come on? Hmm. No, I think it's been there. Okay. So it's not the coffee's fault. It might be too much caffeine, Rob. Oh, that could be. Okay. Sometimes that does it to you. It does. That lady's got four kids. She's pushing in a stroller right now. She's a pro. They're all like... Do you think that's quadruplets or do you think that she's a babysitter? I don't know. That's a good question. I was going to ask that. They're all blonde haired. The, they're all the same age. They look similar. They all look similar. I think yes. she pumped out four kids at one time. That's definitely her. That's not like a a a a, a uh, um, uh, babysitter stroller. That's a mom stroller. If she's a babysitter, you know, she God went, bless her. She went taking on, on yeah. four kids that young. But she would have had to. All go those kids auto. are in yeah. diaper. She if she's babysitting for four different kids, she would have had to go out of pocket to buy a, a, a four a four she seat. Had a daycare. That's true. She had a tag on her hanging from her shirt. That could be too. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Should we go ask her? Yeah. Should we go do let's a go man? Get her. Yeah, you go do a man it. on the street segment real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Yo, lady! You want to be on our podcast? We see you pushing four kids. We're interested. Clearly, you have time to come and talk to us. 
That'd be a cool segment, a little man on the street segment. I always want to do a man on the street segment. Yes. What, what would the topic be? Whatever they want. I mean, Jimmy Kimmel's pretty good. He's got good man on the street segments. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know any um, men on the street in, in, in this area. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. You think? The Lion King should be made into a CGI movie? I think The Lion King is fine as is. Yeah, it's going to be the same old thing. The outcome is going to be the same. You already know what's going to happen. It just looks different. What's next? Pinocchio? They did that. God damn it. A long time ago. They did that like in the 90s, dude. Maybe early 2000s. Okay, well, I'm not up to date on Jonathan this. Taylor Thomas, bro. Okay, that had to have been 90s then. He played, he played fucking Pinocchio. And then, there, and then Drew Carey was in a movie called Geppetto. Also about Pinocchio. Jesus. Do you know that? What is wrong with... Dropping some Drew Carey actually, knowledge on you. Actually, uh... uh Ohio. Did, Drew Carey was or Jim Carey was? Drew. Drew Carey was Geppetto. In the movie Geppetto. Right. I, I feel like I heard about the movie Geppetto. And Drew Carey's it, in it. Yeah, I didn't know that. Was it a play first? No, I, I, just, I just know it was a oh, movie. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, get a little culture. Isn't that kind of weird? It is. Old man gets so lonely that he makes a puppet of a small child. It depends on where the holes are. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. That was my first thought. Oh, boy. That's what would make it weird to me. Oh. <laughs> You know, I just uh, so I just proved your point. Just the idea just of, proved your point of, of fabricating a child out of, out of wood is a weird enough idea for me. You know, when I was younger, I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Can you do any of that stuff? Well, you know, you got to change your M's to N's or N's I to never M's. Got, I never got. I never never practiced because I never got a dummy. You just use your hand at first. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's. I don't. I feel like that's not good enough practice. You need you need the, the companionship. You need the personality. Everyone knows it's a hand. When they see a little puppet and they You don't they, go on they stage the with voice. a hand. You find out how if you can do the voice uh, thing where your lips don't move before you go and spend a lot of money on a puppet. It I just can't know, cost that much. I just know that it's what M and you change your M's to N's when you're talking without moving your lips because M's need you need to like m- m- yeah. need to like, so you you do you nah practice. instead. Not too many ventriloquists out there, Rob. It's a dying art. Does Jeff Dunham still do that shit? He sucked. He tried to do it without him, and it was no good, so I'm sure he's back with the puppets. He tried to do it without the puppets? You know, I find a lot of people that come up to me and go, when, I, when they find out, when they hear me listening to comedy or whatever, they go, man, you know who my favorite comedy, comedian is? Jeff Dunham. And I go, I can't He had talk, some I funny can't. stuff. You know, I mean, some of it was silly, but I feel like... When I saw him live, and all he did was recycle old material from his last two yeah, fucking yeah. specials. Yeah, he he does these. Uh, it's it's all character based. Uh, I don't know how he's still surviving. You get a in, lot of in, junk mail, bro. In PC culture, yeah, I know I do. In PC culture, what do you mean? Because his his characters are 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 degraded to their racist like elements. No. the voices and stuff. That stuff's not okay anymore. A white guy doing okay. that stuff. It's just not okay. These are facts. Facts obviously it is obviously it is okay because he's still doing it. I don't know and how he hasn't he, been ostracized. Yeah, I don't know how he gets away with it. But other so, people they do so a char- they like people do a character on stage, and because there's no puppet in between them, all of a sudden they can't do their act anymore. Like who? I don't know names. <laughs> I just hear things. From where? You mostly. I don't know that I ever called talking about that. I know that I've heard this. Listeners know what I'm talking about if you don't. Uh, Hank Azaria? Are... I'm not up to date. I just, I, I don't know. Okay, maybe you caught me. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. <laughs> now you've got me second guessing what I think I know. But I just know that. Uh, you read a thing on the internet that said you could hold a firecracker in your hand. <laughs> I didn't read that. I think I saw that in a bank heist movie. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember anymore. I don't remember things well. I'm sorry. I don't either. So I have a I bad memory. I shouldn't, I shouldn't relay facts. But what I but don't... I, but I just I've, know that fr- from listening to things, it has entered my head. From listening to things and hearing people. especially And, and maybe Harmontown's not the greatest source because he gets real into PC culture, but mm. it's like... Um, even... Uh, even 
who was it that did the uh, the really racist like voice of the? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Sorry. Um, I'm grasping at something. You know what doesn't give me a bad memory, Rob? Collectivo Coffee, Guatemala. Delicious, smooth. Don't need any additives into it. All you need is some fresh hot water, or maybe some ice cubes. If you like the ice coffee, you pour it into the cup. You sip it down. You feel good for the rest of the day. You're focused. You're sharp. You uh, you accomplish things you didn't think you were going to accomplish. You look at the person you want to be friends with, and you go, hey, you want to hang out sometime and play some pickleball? And they look at you, and they say, you drinking Collectivo coffee? And you go, of course. Pew, pew, audio. Goodbye, everyone.